It's a black mamba. Spending two nights with Hadzabe down to Yedechini and of course uh, we just wanted to come here and uh, be with Hadzabe tribe and to get all the experience that they have in, a, in their daily life. So we did that so two nights was supposed to be good enough for us. And so Hadzabe were kind enough to offer us to go out for hunting the next day which we did so early in the morning the following day we are already out in the bush about 6 a.m so we did that and the guy will start walking so fast we are heading of us we start heading into the bush and we were thinking to ourselves this is the most beautiful uh walking so far and then on that ground on the sand river there were a lot of a footprint i guess that was uh, from the bush back We are still out here hunting. It's been at least maybe 20 minutes since we left the camp. And uh, here we are, the river bank. We saw quite a bit already of uh, uh, bush back footprints. So hoping that anything could be ahead of us. So we're gonna keep on tracking and see what will be right there. All of a sudden, we got super close to a baobab tree, right? Under the baobab tree, uh, they, we had uh, like two Hadzabe guys with us. One, a, a young boy, used to be very good in terms of shooting and, and sporting and caring and all this kind of stuff. So he started pointing the arrow under the baobab tree. We didn't know what was happening, right? Yoka. Is that a snake? What kind of snake is that? That was the black mamba. I freaked out. And she was like laughing at us a little bit, but I freaked out because wow. the grass was so long. It's a black mamba. They <laughs> got it. That looks like a black mamba, man. It's a big one. <laughs> As we all understand, the black member is a highly venomous snake in Africa and is a quick one. Of course, not usually attack human unless cornered, right? And so in that case, we got I got a little bit nervous about it, so I had to take a distance from it. So of course these two guys were too quick. The Hadza guys were very, very sharp and they were managed to get rid of the black members. So they pulled it out and as you can see, even yourself or anybody else will freak out as soon as you see this snake because it's about maybe two meters long. For a black member, a snake that can jump at least maybe two meters ahead of you. So they really tried to get ahead. Okay, now it's good. Mm. Of course, I believe so. I mean, we're in the middle of the bush, so what do we think? <laughs> well, I think it's dead by now, almost. Well, <laughs> I'm a Tokyo Pondani. I'm a Tokyo Pondani. Wow. Let's see what kind of snake is that. Wow, that's a big one. It's 
Pretty big. Yeah, this is a black mamba, man. Yes. It's quite big, yeah. yeah. Look at it. Wow. I'm very quick. I'm very I'm very quick. 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 I'm very Mungu kama nyanyu nyanyu kwa juu Wow Eh Nini? Kaka mashara ya mkundi. Mzito? I don't think they can eat that. It's quite a, uh, quite a poison snack, right? Yeah, I know, but it's going to be poison there. Ili awe mbini. Kivipi sasa? Asinaenda na mweka kwa kwa pale mtu wa kitu wa naangalia muadabi. Haa. Ina nyoka kuyo ayo ya nakimbia na anacha, mina duwe ule nyoka ame. He said he's going to take it back there. Yeah. In case, because there is a honey hive up there. Yes. So in case if any other person comes to see the mistake, they're going to run away. They're thinking he's still alive so he can protect the, the beehive. So. Smart. Smart. Kwanu nafikiri wa watajua kama wamesha kufa laba? Kwa 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 ule iti kakua kwa yeah, they say it's a black mama, so you usually jump. He jumped over, so he was like uh, telling the little one, try to get it quick before he jumped. And he was taking, the little one was taking his time. So sort of like I was complaining about it because the snake is quick. Yes. So the only thing they are doing now is like, to, there is a beehive you can see up there. Where is it? It's like right there. And another one is up there. So they are putting back this snake. He's dead. The reason is to to protect the beehive from the other Hadza who are coming over. Once they see the snake, they think it's still alive and they will walk away, probably. So it's a strategy, but we don't know if this works. Now the Hadza is a bit happy getting out his tobacco. 
smoking a little bit just to cool himself down since he got the black mamba. So do you, do you think there will be another one? Unafikiri pa kutoka kuna mungine? Aya takuwe pa mungine. There will be another one. That's what he's think. Kwele? <laughs> Did you hear what he say? There should be another one. No problem. If he comes out, he's dead. Don't worry. Confident, huh? Yeah. <coughs> 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 I think I'm on. Yeah, must be pretty strong. I just smoked once. You okay? You go poor. Hmm. I see Jacka to talk about the neighbor. He's telling the kid to go check another one, man. I'm smoking right here. I don't want another one come here while I'm smoking. So the kid is trying to keep an eye on the, on the same hall where Black Mamba came from, making sure there's no any other one coming out. Usually they will stay two, even sometimes, three even sometimes. So the only thing he's trying to do now is like pay attention there's no any other one coming out. Looks scary a little bit. 